So the biggest thing I've learned in the past four years of playing Fortnite or just gaming in general are the huge key differences in between keyboard and mouse and controller. Now both have their advantages, right? So what if we took some of the best features of keyboard and the best features of controller and mixed them? What would that even look like? Well, today we're gonna dive into that and I'm gonna show you an example. Alrighty, so moving right in game. So what am I even talking about? Well, as you could probably tell in the title, I'm talking about this little guy right here. This is an actual scroll wheel for my controller. Now, wait, don't skip around in the video. I want to explain something. I've done lots of research when it comes to scroll wheels for controller, right? And this is the one from Plus Gear. And to be honest with you, I couldn't really find any players that actually uses this on a consistent basis. And I've had this scroll wheel for about two weeks now, and I'm already really used to it. And I can tell you, I am 100% switching to this. And a lot of the questions and comments that I get with this thing is, is it actually practical? Well, yeah, it is. I had a few friends that tried this out and they actually didn't like it and they switched back to normally resetting just like this. So let me just say, yes, it's practical and yes, it's actually usable. A lot of people play with control freaks and they can't play without them, right? I am the exact same way with this scroll wheel. I can't play without it now. Now, let me just show you an example of what my resets look like without the scroll wheel. So as you can see, they are pretty decently fast, right? But for the scroll wheel, it is so much faster. All I got to do is swipe up once and both of them are shut. So if you practice that, you can get a double edit on somebody and just swipe up once and it's completely reset. Now we're going to jump into game in a second, but I also want to show you guys this, right? So if you have a triple edit like this, and let's say somebody is staring right here at your cone, right? Well, you can easily get your shot off and shoot pull your map out and scroll wheel. It's really easy and you can do it really quickly. Another plus is you can also bound scroll wheel up to your shotgun. So for controller players, whenever you're rotating throughout your guns, sometimes you'll accidentally mess up and pull out your grappler whenever you're trying to take a shot on a shotgun, right? And it just totally screws you, it can get you killed. Well, you can simply just scroll wheel upwards once and it pulls your shotgun out immediately no matter where you're at in your inventory. And I think having that alone is already worth it. It saved me a million times. And really quick, this is what the scroll wheel comes with. This is a part of an actual mouse that's in here for the scroll wheel it comes with the scroll wheel attachment with some double side tape right here and it also gives you like this extension bracket and some little extra bits to hold down both of the wires that come out of your controller and then a USB-C cable and as well as this little company card and this thing right here so now that you know about it I am going to hop into some 1v1s and I'm going to show you what my gameplay actually looks like when using this thing and actually fighting people so let's get on to it Oh my, I missed. But so if you can see what I'm talking about, just being able to shoot and then instantly reset without having to actually look at the build, it is so overpowered. Let's go, baby. Do it again, buddy. Oh, see, I'm telling you, did you guys see how fast I reset that wall like after? Like, that's just like close to almost impossible if like you're trying to do it actually like with your old binds because you have to pull out your map and then one, two, three. It's like so clumsy and cluttery, but it's just so easy with this scroll wheel. Oh, man. Oh, it's not looking good, boys. Oh, I'm boxed. <gasps> Let me out. Oh, my. That was nice. Oh, see ya, buddy. Look at the resets. Peace, buddy. Oh, he's upset. Oh, God. So as you can see, this thing is like an absolute cheat. It's literally a cheat for controller. It feels like amazing. My gameplay obviously has gotten much better when it comes to box fighting and resetting walls and stuff. So, but now we're going to go over the settings that I'm using for my controller overall, because you guys always ask and uh, how to get the scroll wheel to actually work on the controller. So here's the sensitivity I'm rocking with right now. Put this to point 20 on your ADS sense. If you want a little bit more aim assist and a five dead zone. And also here are all my binds that I use. And for my editing controls, like I said, I don't 
reset like with RB anymore. I use the scroll wheel, so that's not my reset. But my confirm is my left bumper still. And for my paddle binds, I use all four paddles. So this is my edit. This is my reload slash interact. This is my jump. And this is my pickaxe. So now I'm going to show you how to make it where if you just swipe up once, it goes straight to your shotgun and how to put on the scroll wheel reset to make sure it works. So come into the keyboard controls and you're going to come down to building edit and you want to put that as mouse wheel down. So you're scrolling this way. And also you're going to want to put it on your reset building edit as well. Mouse wheel down again. And if you want to bind your mouse wheel up to your shotgun, all you do is come to slot one or whichever slot you put your shotgun in and you go mouse wheel up. If you watch the video to this point, comment in the comment section, controller scroller. I want to see who the real ones are and who actually watches my full videos. And if you found this helpful or enjoyed it at all, hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 50K. And if you watch this full video, you'll enjoy the one on screen. So go and click it and I'll see you in there. Much love boys. Peace.